The star at the center of this image, it's about to go supernova. This is a star called WR124 that's located about 15,000 light years away. It's a special type of star called a wolf rayet. These are among the brightest and most massive stars in our universe. wolf rayet is a phase in the life cycle of a massive star that occurs before that star goes supernova. It's actually somewhat remarkable to capture a wolf rayet star like this because the phase can be brief. They're also comparatively rare. Just one out of every 10 million stars is a wolf rayet star. Wolf rayets begin their lives with a mass of at least 20 times that of a star like our sun. They burn hot and bright, starting off fusing hydrogen into helium at their cores. When they run out of hydrogen, they start fusing helium into heavier elements. This is when the wolf rayet pre-supernova phase of their lives begins after the star is done fusing helium and moves on to even heavier elements. Wolf rayet stars shed their outer layers during this fusing process at their cores. The reddish pink gas and dust you see in this image is what's been ejected by WR124, which actually started out with the mass 30 times that of our sun. Eventually, this star will die in a fiery explosion when it goes supernova. One very cool thing you can see about this image is the halo of gas and dust around WR124. It's not even. That means that there were different and disparate ejections of material rather than a slow, steady release of material from the star. This particular image is a composite of NIRCAM, or JWST's near-infrared camera, and MIRI, or the mid-infrared instrument. In near-infrared, astronomers can see through gas and dust, peeking inside stellar nurseries and seeing what's being obscured. But in this case, it's the mid-infrared that scientists are especially interested in. MIRI is perfect for studying dust, which is of particular interest to astronomers, and wolf rayet stars are exceptional at producing dust. Dust, which in space is made up of elements like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, is essential for, well, pretty much everything. You need it to form stars, to form planets, and the one thing that puzzles astronomers is how exactly all this dust came to be. There's more dust in our universe than should actually exist. This image really highlights the surrounding nebula made of wolf rayet castoffs, which is about 10 light years wide. The colors correspond to wavelengths of light. Red is the longest wavelengths, then green, and finally blue.